hello and welcome to my channel please like share and subscribe if you like this video and thanks so much for watching y'all thank you thank you thank you to my day ones twos and threes thank you to all my new subscribers that's coming in that means well thank you so very much i appreciate you and welcome 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 this video is for entertainment and educational purposes so everything is alleged some is not and the fair act use is in my description box y'all so let's get to it y'all they are out here still doing r kelly dirty y'all they doing them dirty dirty all right now it's bad enough that he can't read he can't write too much um because he didn't really go to school and you know when he did it didn't catch on to anything okay y'all um so everybody know that r kelly got cheated out of a lot of his money because he had a lot of people in a circle and they had access to his his money his bank accounts and everything and they were stealing from him so uh, this is a partial the reason that r kelly don't have any money well this is the main reason he don't have no money it's because you know other people was you know lying to him and going to his bank account like it was theirs and taking out what they wanted this is what i was talking about that he should be suing a lot of people that had access to his bank account okay y'all so ever since r kelly been in jail a lot of fans have been taking care of him aside from his little side hustle because he gets on you know some of the uh inmates phone calls and he sings to their family members and they send him money and stuff like that so he been doing his little hustle that he could do in the jail whatever he can do to you still use his talent and you know a lot of fans still back this man okay y'all they still feel he's the king he's the king y'all okay of r and very 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 gifted okay y'all now he went from having nothing in the back in his on his books at the jail to having about thirty thousand dollars on his commissary, y'all. And why did they just confiscate his money, y'all? And they took twenty nine thousand five hundred dollars from him, and they left him with five hundred dollars. Now I know, I know, I know, y'all gonna be like, well, he has to pay for court costs and stuff like that, so. They didn't have to take it all, though, y'all. That don't make no sense. So, you know, if I was R. Kelly, I'd get a little bit smarter. And I hope he got somebody on the outside that he could trust. And I would just, you know, have them send the money to some kind of account on the outside. Okay, y'all? Get him a little cash app or something like that. And let people send to his cash app. Or he have the money sent to his future wife okay she's been in, hanging in there so far y'all send it to her and she just give him a little bit of it at a time all right y'all because what they just did don't make no sense all right um they say our, our kelly been claiming that he was broke but he was broke y'all but the entertain but fans of the entertainer are pouring thousands of dollars into his jail to his um commissary. This is what they're saying that their money is pouring in on his commissary, all right? But I understand that they want to take a little bit out, but they ain't have to take it all. They you know, so far they're saying R. Kelly is currently serving 30 year prison term for, you know, racketeering and you know, Rex stuff, okay, y'all? In accordance with his sentencing, U.S. District Judge Ann Donnelly ordered R. Kelly to pay a $100,000 fine, a $900 special assessment, and $40,000 assessment under the justice for, you know, the trafficking stuff. Okay, y'all? But he hasn't paid a dime of that. R. Kelly's legal team is claiming that the singer is flat broke. Well, he ain't flat broke if he got $30,000 on his commissary, y'all. See, this is what I'm saying. Like, this don't make no sense. And if he know that he had, you know, fees to pay, they should at least throw them something. If he was paying something on it, then they'd be like, yeah, he is trying. But when he's not giving them anything, then that's the difference. So, people are saying that the feds want their money. So, they've decided to grab all his money off of his commissary. 
that, you know, fans had donated to him and friends of his. Um, Assistant U.S. Attorney Daniel G. Savidra wrote in a five-page letter, the government has been informed by the BOP that the defendant had accumulated substantial funds in his in Y'all, you know, this is this is ridiculous. They could have left him with a, a lot more money than $500. I, that's all I'm trying to say. According to the prosecutor, R. Kelly had $28,328.24 in that account, and the Bureau of Prisons has seized that money. The BOP has confirmed that and left $500 in the defendant's trust account for defendant's use. In Chicago, the letter states, according as of this writing, the BOP has restrained a total of $27,828. That's a lot, y'all. That's a lot to just take from him. And he didn't have anything. You know, they, they really is playing dirty when it comes to R. Kelly right now. And it's not fair. I just don't feel like it's fair. <clears throat> now, I know R. Kelly was doing, excuse me, a lot of stuff, y'all. I do. I know he was doing a lot of stuff out here in these streets. And he was arrogant about it. He got away with a lot of stuff, y'all. But to take 28000 and you only got twenty nine something is ridiculous, y'all. They could have at least left him with $10,000. But the IRS and everybody, they don't love nobody. So it is what it is. Okay, but if he had been trying to pay them something, then they couldn't. Well, I don't know if they could or not, because sometimes when you owe people money, I think if you're giving them something, then they, it stops them from coming for you as long as they see that you're trying to pay it. So I don't know, y'all. I just find this, you know, he's already down. He already has a 30 year sentence that, you know, he got it, I think, in New York. And, you know, he's about to go to court again in Chicago so they can add some more charges. And then he has a case somewhere else. I forgot where that one was at. I think Detroit. I, I'm not 100% sure. But um, do they have to take everything from him? He's already down. They don't have to keep putting the foot on his neck even further. Okay? It seems as if now they're just taking advantage of R. Kelly. And, you know, I hate to say this and just be protective of him like that. But you have to think about R. Kelly's upbringing and his background as well. You have to take all of that in consideration. You cannot just go by the things that he did and not go by the things that happened to him. You know, he's not all there in the mind. And on top of not being all there in the mind, he can't read and write. And that's like, that's like being, you know, That's almost like a disability, y'all. If you can't read and write, you cannot understand a lot of stuff. And all they do is just take, take, take from this guy. Take, take, take from him. And uh, let him have that. You know what I'm saying, y'all? Even if they were going to take some, take half. And then when he gets some more accumulate, if he accumulated $30,000, then he's his fans are still going to continue to support him. He's going to get more money in the, on those books. So just take a little bit at a time or half of it when he accumulate a certain amount. And you, they don't have to do him that dirty, y'all. I just don't see you just putting your neck, foot on somebody's neck that's already down. He is in there. He's serving his time for the crimes that he committed. And it just don't make sense to, you know, just keep digging it in. You know... Just pushing it on in, the knife in his back. You know what I'm saying, y'all? It just don't make no sense. Give him a break on something, y'all, okay? he, it, They got him. They got him. He's probably going to be in there the rest of his life, y'all. He's probably going to pass away in there. If he do get out, he's probably going to be in some kind of, you know, older folks' home or something like that. He is not about to have no good life from this point on because your freedom is taken away, y'all. So they do not have to keep taking from this man. You know, I just don't see it. Okay, and yes, I know what he did was wrong. But he he got a lot going on in the head of his, y'all. He been through a lot when he was younger. And people in his family mingling and tingling and all kind of stuff going on with them. 
he ain't just, you know, wake up and became this monster. They helped make that monster, y'all. And not only did his family and people that he was around when he was younger help make that monster, when he got older and started getting into the music industry, they helped create an even bigger monster because they were going along with the things that he was doing, knowing that it was wrong, which is one of the reasons why I say that more than him should be in there. Okay, y'all? Parents should have, you know, a part in this too as far as charges being brought on them because if you know somebody has a reputation for something and then you turn around and still give you know pass your child to this person so that they can be you know a role model for them and you know that their background is you know a little shaky i feel like the family should you know take their responsibility for what happened as well that's all i'm saying y'all they doing them dirty okay Anyway, y'all, good luck to R. Kelly. Like, good luck. I hope that um, he gets some peace sooner or later, y'all, in his life and the things that he has went through. And I hope that, you know, any victims that he has messed up their lives and whatever, 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 I hope that they get some peace as well, y'all. Okay? Anyway, please like, share, and subscribe if you like this video. And thanks so much for watching, y'all. Peace.